Hello everybody, I'm Matt from Vortex City, and today I will be showing you how you can animate in iMovie. So animating in iMovie is very easy. All you have to use is a method called keyframing. So to keyframe, simply open up iMovie and open your new project, and take the file that you want to animate. So in this case, we'll be animating this icon that I made. Uh, it's sort of like a website, um, Google View. It doesn't really matter, you can animate with literally any image. So I have my background set and I have my uh, image in. So I'll just click on the image and just first of all make sure you fit the image because it won't really work properly if it's not set to fill. So do that right away. And also make sure that your image is set to picture in picture mode because uh, if it's in the cutaway, it, again, it probably won't work as well. So make sure it's in picture in picture mode. We'll just res resize this and make sure it doesn't fade in because that could also ruin things. So once you have your image set up and you have it at the right size that you would like it to be at, just take the starting point for where you want your keyframe to start. So in my case, I want the image to start at the bottom where you can't see it and sort of slide up into the middle. So what I want to do is just drag it right down under where you can't see and make sure that you have your cursor here set to the start or around the start and click back onto your image. So then once you have clicked back onto your image, you just hit this button right here. It's called the keyframe button. You click it once and then you can go back to your timeline and press play. And the longer that you let it play for, the slower the keyframe will be. So if you let it play for less, so I, I did two seconds, which will be uh, kind of slow, but it won't be too slow. It's about a pretty good speed. Sadly, you can't edit this afterwards. You actually need to upgrade to Final Cut Pro to do that. So make sure you space your uh, time out or else you'll have to redo it. But after you are at two seconds, all you have to do is just move your image to where you want the endpoint to be. So I was thinking the endpoint could be like there, so it would slide up. And now you can see my image is sliding up through the animation without me touching anything. So all I have to do is hit the check mark here. And once I press play, you can see my image sliding in. And it looks pretty nice. And you can animate literally any image from any angle. So I could, I could remove this animation and put it in and do like, uh, it could come in from the top or I could like, I, I don't know, you could bring it in from the side, keyframe, play, and just remove that. And then I could just bring it back in. You can literally do anything, any sort of animation that you want. See, so bring it in from the side. It's pretty cool. There are really tons of combinations. And I hope that helped you guys out. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments down below and I'll reply to them as soon as possible because I know this can be a little bit confusing at first, but once you get the handle on it, it's very easy and it's actually very effective to animate in iMovie. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, feel free to subscribe to see more tutorials just like this one and tons of other tech videos. If you liked it, just drop a like and I will see you guys in the next video.